wait, 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 wait. I, I know he always asks me tough questions, and he always has an edge to them, but I like him anyway. So go ahead and ask, answer, ask the question. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, so you just said that you think within three weeks or so we'll be at the point where there are a million vaccines per day, but it seems like. No, I think we'll get there before that. I said, I hope, I misspoke. I hope we'll be able to increase as we go on till we get to the million five a day. That's my, my hope. And then my, the follow-up to that would be, uh, now that you're president and you're saying there is nothing we can do to change the trajectory of the pandemic in the next several months, what happened to two months ago when you were talking declaratively about, I am going to shut down the virus? Well, I'm going to shut down the virus, but not, I never said I'd do it in two months. I said it took a long time to get here. It's going to take a long time to beat it. And so we have millions of people out there who, are, who have the virus. We're just, for the first day, I think, correct me if I'm wrong, I've been doing other things this morning, speaking with foreign leaders, but one of the things I think, this is one of the first days that the number has actually come down, the number of deaths, and the number on a daily basis, and the number of hospitalizations, et cetera. It's going to take time. It's going to take a heck of a lot of time. And we still have, as Dr. Fauci constantly points out, it's one thing when we have mass how can I say it politely? Mass disregard of the warnings about not wearing masks and wearing masks and, and social distancing and failure to social distance and people getting together on holidays in ways that weren't recommended, et cetera. We see, first thing that happens is we see the, uh, the number of infections go up. Then you see the hospitalizations go up. Then you see the deaths go up. And so we're, we're in this for a while. I mean, we're, what are we now at about 410? thousand deaths and there's going to be more the prediction as i said from the very beginning to getting here as after being sworn in was the predictions were we're going to see somewhere between a total of 600,000 and 660,000 deaths before we begin to turn the corner in a major way so and again remember the vaccine most of the people taking the vaccine a vast significant number require two shots and they are an average of three weeks apart, and it takes time for it to be sure that you're at, you get to that 95% assurance rate. And so it's beginning to move, but I'm confident we will beat this. We will beat this, but we're still going to be talking about this in the summer. We're still going to be dealing with this issue in the early fall. And last point I'll make, and I know you're tired of hearing me saying it, particularly, you may be tired of me saying it, and that is that if we wear masks between now and the end of April, the experts tell us we can save 50,000 lives, 50,000 people otherwise would die. Thank you so very much.